I've had lots of emails over the past few months asking if I'd give my take on the Quansheng UV K58, and loads of people have already done videos on them, but I thought I'd throw my two cents in and demonstrate what a cracking little radio this is for the price. I bought two of them last year. One is the standard colour, and the other is this really nice transparent model. They of course both do the same thing. Even though I bought mine, I've shared a couple of affiliate links in the description for you to take a look at. These radios are really inexpensive, and everybody raves about them, and their out of band capabilities shall we say. So the aim of this video is to clear up that topic somewhat, and show you how to pick up signals across Europe, as well as closer to home. Out of the box they're a dual band, and no matter what firmware you put into this, you'll only be able to transmit on VHF and UHF, 136-174 and 400-470 MHz. It receives airband very nicely, more on that soon, and receive will go down as low as 50-76 to 76 MHz, the FM broadcast band, all of the airband as I said, 118-136, to and then 350-400 to and 470-600 to 600 MHz. The fantastic Exuma firmware is one of the numerous different experimental efforts of the curious and hard-working guys that are pushing this radio to its limits. To install it you simply go to their website and flash the web firmware to the radio using a programming cable. What this allows you to do is receive and transmit, and I say transmit loosely, on a much wider range of frequencies. It opens up the radio from 18 MHz all the way through to 1.3 GHz. Now it does lots of other nice things too, such as this little band scope, and all sorts of other bits which you can check out in the description, but while the radio will transmit on this wider range of frequencies, don't bother. It outputs milliwatts on the expanded frequencies, and spurious harmonics everywhere else. Because of the chip inside this radio, it will only transmit properly on the VHF and UHF range I mentioned earlier. Transmitting elsewhere will just cause damage to the radio, and cause interference in places that could land you a knock on the door. Lots of people are attracted to the idea of using this on CB frequencies, and I've seen many posts on social media, which is part of the reason for me making this video. It'll receive on CB very nicely. I use this little SWR and power meter and a dummy load to try and measure the power output on the CB frequencies within 27 MHz, and was getting all manner of inaccurate readings, more proof that this radio really isn't meant to transmit here. This meter is linked below by the way because it's really handy, it covers 1.8 to 54 MHz on FM, AM and SSB, and is battery powered. It's good from half a watt up to 120 watts, and 200 watts at SSB very briefly. It has an alarm to warn of excessive power inputs, and it has multiple layouts to show forward and reflected power, your SWR reading, and output power of your radio. So, back to the radio. If you don't fancy the Exuma firmware, the radio out of the box makes a great budget radio scanner. I had a quick scan round and picked up a few local signals. Here's Manchester Airport, which gives you a good idea on the AM Civil Airband demodulation capability of this radio. The Maritime Safety Information Broadcast came through nicely too. Otherwise moderate or rough, becoming rough or very rough later. Rain later, good, becoming moderate or poor later. Outlook for the following 24 hours, south 7 as did some locals chatting on PMR446. Sorry, Martin, apologies then, Mr. Topnotch, back to you, sir. You're picking Mick up, if so, he's in Biddle. The lovely town of Biddle. Uh, if you're picking him up, Martin, take you through. And finally, a couple of amateur radio frequencies were active during my brief scan around the bands. So he, in the end, he took it off G7BYS over to you, Dave. Okay, Jim. And uh, 
Thanks on that. Thanks on the info, guys. Good on you, lads. Good on you. Thanks very much for that. If I disappear all of a sudden, this is just number one, so let's come back with a shot. I think I'll just like a metre long, uh, just to keep some separation between them. That'll work. Um, so, because it's vertically polarised, it doesn't like being sat uh, t clamped to a, an iron pole or a, an aluminium pole. Um, so, if we get any wind, that'll just snap in half. Uh, so, we'll know quite quickly whether the wind's picking up or not. Uh, <laughs> we'll get um, the points of a beam through our skull. Um, no, I don't think. One thing I'm a big fan of is the signal stick and flight stick my friend Chris produced late last year. These are both now available as a cheap digital download. The signal stick contains 600 frequencies you can quickly and easily program into your radio. They include Fire Brigade, Marine, Television and Outside Broadcast, PMR446, all of the UK wide business and radio higher frequencies, some US allocations that are used here illegally, amateur radio and tons of others. If you have a Baofeng or Quansheng or any other radio scanner and you don't know how to pick up signals, this will give you a good idea on where to start. There are files in here that you can edit in Excel to input to any radio and there are CSV files for uploading to a Baofeng or Quansheng. The Flight Stick is a database that contains over 2000 frequencies, including all UK and Ireland civil airports, airfields and private strips. It also contains RAF, US Air Force, SAS, Ministry of Defence and Army and Navy bases, common UK frequencies, all air traffic control zones, oil rigs, gliders, helipads and much more. If you'd like to check out these two handy products, again there's links in the description. They definitely turn any cheap handheld into something you can easily pick stuff up on. So while the Quansheng is no good for transmitting, when paired with a CB antenna, you'll be surprised at the stuff you can pick up. I heard some locals chatting on channel 19. Talk about United. Uh, Telly on and now Everton just nearly scored. So. Everton, the black guy, the United's keeper, just made a fucking belting save. It should have been 1-0 for Everton. I also heard signals from further afield, such as this French guy chatting to his friend. On 27555, I heard another station from Italy calling before moving to 27640. Here's some other CB signals starting with Carol over in Poland. Over on the 10 meter band, I heard RV3FF, Andre coming in all the way from Russia. Radio Victor 3, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, calling Fiki Diak. Ocean Yankee 1, Ocean Foxtrot, thanks for the call. Great signal, you about 20 over S9. Antenna beaming to you, direction at the moment. My name is Andy, Able Nancy Delta Yankee, and I'm northeast part of Moscow, the capital. I'll copy, over. There was also some Morse code to be heard here too. Thank you. 
I also heard a station on 18 MHz, the 17 meter amateur band. Okay, Steve, the name here is Ted, the Tango Echo Delta. I'm running 500 watts of the Hex Team Antenna. 73 and good luck. So that's a quick demonstration from me on what sort of things you can pick up on the Quansheng UV K58 with the right tools. With the addition of the signal stick, flight stick or the Exuma firmware, you can turn this inexpensive radio into a handy radio scanner. As I said before, don't transmit outside of the VHF and UHF bands, there's really no point. And if you wish to check out the products featured in this video, the links are in the description below.